So are you looking for some exercises to help you get delt gains? Well, I have three of my favorite exercises that I like to deploy when I'm in the gym and I'm gonna share them with you today. Let's get started. What's going on? It's your dude, That Guy Health and BF Men's Physique Pro. Soon to step on my first NPC show. I am 15 weeks out, hard on the nutrition, hard on the training. And today we're gonna to talk about some of my favorite routines in order to get these delt gains up. So listen, when I'm in the gym, there are a few delt exercises that I like to do. Usually I go ahead and I might start off with my posterior delts first, as a lot of people don't work on them as much or they don't get as much work with other exercises, okay? When you do bench press, your anterior delts get work. When you do incline barbell bench press, your anterior delts get work. Your lateral delts get work. Your posterior delts don't get a lot of work. And a lot of people don't focus or pay attention on them a lot. So I'm gonna put that in there before before I even get started on this because my favorite three are not posterior workouts although I do have a workout that is for the posterior and I love it but it's only one workout and it's a superset that I develop and that will be something that we'll make another video for I'll share that with you and you can try it yourself and see how you like it but we're gonna start with these lateral delt raises by far one of the most well-known exercises for delts and it is I think it's a misconception. We're going to backtrack a little bit. A misconception that people believe that this shoulder is one big muscle and it's not. The shoulder is comprised of three smaller individual muscles that work together as a whole. And that is your posterior, your lateral, and your anterior, which is your front. Most people call it the front delt, okay? So you don't really need a lot of weight to get a good burn and to cause hypotrophy in those areas. So the lateral delt raise, as you see, I'm doing here is one of my favorites and I'll give you a couple of tips I usually don't just stand straight up bring them down to the side and out sometime I'll bend over slightly with my torso bringing the dumbbells in front of me and coming from that motion that tends to give you a bit more of a stretch on that delt because as you stretch the muscle get more blood flow in there it helps to promote muscle growth hypotrophy okay so lateral delt raises are definitely on my favorite list to do especially when I add these little wrinkles here and there to just emphasize the intensity and try to hopefully improve the gains all right so that's going to be number one and this is not in any order of priority it's just rattling off the top of my dome what i do and what i like so the next one is going to be the uh, military machine press and I know maybe some of you are saying you could do the barbell military press without the machine. That is true. But usually when I'm working delts, I tend to do this one later than before. So I've already exhausted a lot of I've already reached fatigue. I've already exhausted. So what I will do so I can load it up load my delts up i'll go to the machine because then that takes out like anything that could go wrong with my form as far as maybe i kind of go off this way or go off this way the machine will help me stay in form and i can concentrate more on the reps and the intensity in the exercise and also i can load it up so as you see here in this video clip i have three 45 pound plates on each side being 135 on each side versus Versus if I had 135 pound dumbbells in my hand or had that loaded up elsewhere. That's that's quite a bit of weight to try to sustain in, in, in a sitting or standing position making you susceptible to injury. And like I said, I'm 15 weeks out from show. You want to minimize the injury risk. So this is one of my favorites to go to. I'll start off with this because I've already warmed up doing other delt exercises. So I'll start off with these three plates, do my best to get six to eight reps. If I get eight reps, then I'm really pushing good in the gym. And I definitely probably have a good amount of energy level in there. Here, I had already exhausted quite a bit. So I reached about six fatigued right in there. I went ahead and pushed out a another set of trying to do six and I brought the weight down so I can get eight reps or a little bit more and get a good workout then what I did is I finished off burning out 20 20 reps on there so that's that's another one of my faves to go to to try to build and it has helped me out considerably in the build season to going into now I can already see my uh, delt muscles coming in the the separation the fiber the striation it's already there and I'm not even at 12 or 10 percent yet so i know that i have some type of muscle growth going in that area versus off last season so my third and final for this segment not all together is going to be the arnold press and i absolutely 
love the Arnold press, okay? To me, this is a compound movement. It definitely gets the upper pectorals working as well as the lateral and the front delt, okay? I feel that. So definitely right here, you wanna start off with, with a lower weight if you've never done it till you get your form right because you could risk injury because of the range of motion and the just the movement itself is not just here. You're coming from here and I love to get that squeeze in here. As you see in the video, I like to bring it in here to get that stretch as I said before and that delt and then go ahead and contract and just get that eccentric stretch and then contract again and usually I'll start off warming up with probably around 30s and then I'll hop to a 45 and then I'll go ahead and usually I might go ahead and just jump to the 60s and rep out another three sets of probably 10 to 12 and then till I come down and then I'll go ahead and bring it back down to 40 and get me some good solid reps in there and a good burn and that is what I typically do those three exercises I even did today when I was at the gym at 80 a.m. this morning, woke up at five to get my meal in, hit the gym and hit it hard. Okay. So those are some of my top, top delt exercises. I'm not going to say top three. I listed three of them today. I will share that posterior delt workout with you. It is a pretty good one. Although we'll have to film that in the gym like I did here and then bring the footage back because I use a cable machine to do it. But if you do it, I'm guaranteeing you, you're going to feel a burn in that posterior delt that you probably haven't felt before. If you're not used to doing certain different wrinkle type of posterior delt exercises. All right. So let's just to say, thanks for doing something for a very good cause. So you know what I always say, be safe, let's build together, and peace.